Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about the brand new Avatar novel that was just announced last week, coming out this July. It is the sequel to The Dawn of Yang Chen, which came out last year, and it's going to have a ton of brand new canon Avatar information inside of it. So let's go over some of the details in today's video. So this brand new Avatar story is going to be the second book written by FCE about Avatar Yang Chen. Avatar Yang Chen was the airbending Avatar Avatar who came before Aang in the Avatar cycle. It is the second book in her story, The Legacy of Yang Chen, and the fourth story overall in the Chronicles of the Avatar novel franchise. The first two books, obviously, in this franchise were about Kyoshi. It was The Rise of Kyoshi and The Shadow of Kyoshi, which we now know through reports, Avatar Studios and other outlets who are producing brand new Avatar content for the next couple of years are going to be drawing on for inspiration for animated shows and stories stories and other content in the games. So this is the second novel for Yang Chen. First novel came out last year, The Dawn of Yang Chen, and focused on Yang Chen as a younger avatar dealing with the warring factions of rulers of independent cities in the Earth Kingdom further up north. There was a lot of really good stuff in these novels. They are canon to the rest of Avatar's story, so if you have not read them, I would highly recommend picking them up. You can get them physically at pretty much any place where books are sold. You can also get the audiobook on websites like Audible and other places. So the books and the stories itself are readily available. They are novels. They are not comics. They're not graphic novels like we have for Avatar and for Korra. The book hits shelves this July, July 18th, 2023, and there's a description that we get from the official release, and it goes, Avatar Yang Chen has succeeded in bringing a measure of stability to Bin Ur, but her successes have been limited to a single city, and rumors concerning unanimity, the weapon capable of total obliteration, have led to increasing tensions among the four nations. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. If you have not read the original Dawn of Yang Chen, spoilers lie ahead. I will warn you once and I'm going to talk about some story content. Okay, we still here? Good. So, in the first book for Yang Chen, The Dawn of Yang Chen, unanimity was a threatening force that was going to bring the people of cities like Bin Ur to heal. Yang Chen finds out in the book that unanimity is actually a set of benders. They are combustion benders who are going to force their will upon these innocent people, and these merchants who run these cities are using them to try and capitalize on their power and quell some unrest. This is the predominant story in the legacy of Yang Chen. We also learn a bit about Yang Chen's backstory, her relationship with a friend she had growing up who now seems to be lost. So a lot of this is going to come back into play with the second book. We don't know how long it takes place into the future, but we do know that Kavik, who worked with Yang Chen in the first book, by who at the end of the book, they kind of had parted ways due to broken trust, is also going to return in this novel. It's going to hit shelves this summer. There's going to be a ton of awesome stuff revealed in these novels. If you've never read them, we get a lot of really good lore and story bits in these novels that don't even just pertain to the singular story that they're telling. There are a lot of larger lore and world building elements that we get in these books. Names of locations that we might not have previously gotten of cities and towns, brand new locations that get named and we can place on a map. We get the names of older avatars that we previously did know about in many of these novels. They are absolutely tremendous. FCE, the author, he has written all three and now soon to be all four of these Chronicles of the Avatar novels as of now. And he works closely with Mike and Brian, Mike, Michael Dante DiMartino and Brian Konietzko, the creators of Avatar and Korra. He works with Mike DiMartino on the story content. And now presumably he is going to be working with Avatar Studios as they develop this larger expansion universe for the Avatar franchise, for the Avatar verse, to make these novels fit in. These are an absolute must 
by. And we're going to cover the launch of the legacy of Yang Chen here on this channel and up to release. I'll get you caught up with what happened in the original Dawn of Yang Chen. And of course, as I've mentioned like six times now, these books are incredible. They are the best Avatar content outside of the two shows that we have. They have some of the best storytelling and character development of any books. The Dawn of Kyo or the, uh, the Rise of Kyoshi and the Shadow of Kyoshi, the two Kyoshi novels, the first two Chronicles of the Avatar books, are tremendous. We get so much backstory and so much substance to who Kiyoshi was as an avatar and the first Yang Chen novel continued that tradition and did it for her as well. So we have a new book coming out this year. It really lengthens the lineup of avatar content we're getting as we continue to wait for Avatar Studios content in the coming years. There's going to be a lot of avatar stuff this year. We have the legacy of Yang Chen this summer. We have the avatar Netflix show, which is separate from Avatar Studios and all of the animated and novel content, but that's also coming this year, the first season. So it's a really exciting time to be an Avatar fan. And if you want to stay updated with all of the Avatar news that we're going to be getting this year, please be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below and letting me know if you've, if you've read the book so far and if you're excited for the next one. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss future Avatar coverage. My name has been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.